religion. So if you follow what he wants you to follow, then you are the true believer. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه ومن اتبع هداه إلى يوم الدين. My dear brothers and sisters, in few minutes I would like to share with you how to have a dialogue with an atheist. First of all, alhamdulillah, all praise due to Allah, that the majority of mankind, they believe in the existence of their creator. Only handfuls, they deny that. So the, those who deny the existence of the creator are minority. First of all, as you know, in logic, one of the principles of logic states negating a negation is an affirmation. Negating a negation is an affirmation. What does this mean? It means when you negate a negative statement, you affirm. Because negation means non-existence. When you negate something, you negate its existence. For instance, if you say in English, he is unhappy. This is a negative statement. Right? Negate it now. He is not unhappy. What does it mean? He is happy. When you negate it, it becomes positive. Because it is already a negative statement. So when you negate a negative statement, it becomes positive. Are you following, brothers and sisters? So negation, negating a negation is an affirmation. If you say, he is unable, this is negative statement. Unable is negative statement. If you negate it and you say, he is not unable, it means he is able. Are you following? So this principle of logic, when you negate a negative statement, it becomes positive. So now the atheist approaches you and he says, there is no God. You tell him, thank you. This in itself is a proof that there is God. Why? Because if there is no God, there is no need for you to negate it in the first place. True or not? Do you negate something doesn't exist? Or you negate something exists? Tell me. You negate something exists. You don't negate something doesn't exist. So now the atheist says there is no God. It means what? There is God. Otherwise, there is no need for you to negate in the first place. Are you following? Is this clear to everyone? Number one. Number two. Because we want to have a chat with our atheist friend. Now, tell him, you know, you exist, I exist. Both of us exist. How can you explain to me our existence? How did we come into being, you and I? This is a puzzle. This is a riddle. Something is there in my mind. I want explanation. Because you exist, I exist. I need an answer for my existence. And the answer to this question, Islam gave it 1400 years ago. Number one, either you came from nothing. This is one probability. You came from nothing. Second, you created yourself. Third, you are created by a creator. There is no fourth one. 
Now, let us have a look at the three probabilities. Did you create yourself? What do you think? Did we create ourselves? No. That is ruled out. Second thing. Did we come from nothing? What do you think? No. Why? Nothing gives nothing. That is also ruled out. What remained? That you are created by a creator. Are you following? So there is a creator who created you. Also, if you ask the atheist and tell him, look around you, my dear friend, have a look, and tell me what can you see? What do you see around you? You will see the following. Inanimate, like soil, rocks, mountains, seas, this is called inanimate. Second, plants. Third, animals. Fourth, human beings. No fifth element. Now let us ask our friend to arrange these four elements ascendingly from the least complex to the most complex. 